Hey guys, it's Mo Mastafay here, author, speaker, coach, and welcome to another edition of Motivated Muscle, where you learn the mindset techniques to help you burn stubborn body fat and add lean muscle. And in this video, we're going to be talking about identity and how you can create a strong personal identity that can help you towards your journey of getting in shape and staying in shape. Now, first of all, let's uh, quickly define what the word identity actually means. So I've got my iPad here, and I'm just going to read in, uh, a definition. It says, in psychology, sociology, and anthropology, identity is a person's conception and expression of their own and others' individuality or group affiliations. So that's the, uh, the sort of formal definition. The informal definition would basically be identity is really how you see yourself, how you identify yourself to yourself and in the context of your surrounding. Okay, so sometimes we may identify ourselves as being from a certain area and because of that, we will try to live into that identity and live up to that identity. So I'll give an example, I, uh, growing up, I grew up in some pretty, what you may describe as rough neighborhoods and stuff. So growing up, I would always identify myself as being from those areas and that then affected me when I was going for jobs and when I was, um, you know, uh, meeting new people because I was always see myself as that kind of a person when the truth is I could see myself as whoever I wanted to be but I didn't realize that until later on when I started studying things like personal development and self-development. So uh, how can we use identity in a way to basically create, a, how can we create a new identity for ourselves so we can allow ourselves to get in better shape? So you may have an identity about yourself, you will have an identity, sorry, about yourself right now when it comes to your body, okay? You may see yourself as a fat guy, for example. That might be the term you're using to describe yourself, or a fat girl, or a skinny guy or a skinny girl, right? And um, I'll give you a personal example. Growing up, I always saw myself as the skinny kid, right? Because, you know, in context of the other people I was around I was always this the skinnier of probably a lot of the kids I was hanging out with in school so I saw myself as the skinny kid and I labeled myself with that label and that was a, a a limited label if you like but it did actually empower me later on to start getting into things like weight training and other types of sports that actually resulted in me putting on size but nonetheless for years, even no matter how much muscle I was putting on, I would still, or how, even how much size I would put on, I would still see myself as a skinny guy when I was looking in the mirror. Okay, um, and this is a bit of a, a strange paradox because it's not about the realities how we often see ourselves that determines how we um, how how we behave and how we act. Okay, so what I want you to start doing now is I want you to start thinking of a positive identity for yourself. Okay, create an identity for yourself and write it out, uh, write down how you see yourself. Okay, maybe in the moment right now you see yourself, uh, you know, if you're 20, 30 or 40 pounds or whatever, overweight, you might call yourself a fat guy. Okay, and then because of that, you say, I'm a fat person, so I'll never get in shape. I'm a fat person, I'll never get in shape. But what I would encourage you to do is, is reframe that and start creating an identity of somebody who you're not even... Uh, who you don't actually have that body of right now. You might say, you know, I'm a lean, slim, energetic person. I'm a lean, slim, energetic person. I'm a lean, slim, energetic person. Okay? And then start creating that script in your mind and giving yourself that identity over and over and over. And then when you go to eat some junk food, say, oh, hold on a second, I'm a lean, slim, energetic person. I don't eat junk food. Instead of going, yeah, I'm a fat person, you know, and this is what I do. No, get rid of that identity. That is a negative script that you're running over and over and over in your mind that's been perpetuated by various outside sources. Maybe the media and all that is helping fuel that. But get rid of that. Change your script in your mind and start overriding that with a positive identity. Case in point, Muhammad Ali, the obviously world famous boxer, he used to say, I am the greatest. I said that before I knew I was. See that? I am the greatest. And he said, I said that before I knew I was, right? So when you start creating that identity about yourself, you will start living into that identity. And as a result, your behaviors will change, your actions will change, your results will change, and you will start getting the body and the life will, uh, your life will become a manifestation of your own thoughts. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get more access to great mindset content that can help you get in shape and stay in shape. And if you're looking for motivation and mindset, 
get, uh, click the link below this video, get access to my seven mindset keys training, which will show you how to set goals, get motivated and take massive action towards getting in shape and staying in shape. My name is Omar Mustafa, and I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.